Hi guys, it's Amit from Unlimited Elements and in this tutorial I'm going to show how to create this team member box with this plus. When you click on the plus, it opens some description. This is a question by Yael from one of the Elementor groups. So the first step, as always, is creating the HTML. So I've created the HTML, the CSS and the JavaScript. When you click plus, it opens up some description. This is looking good. And the next step is creating this into an Elementor widget that has uh, content that we can change and edit and create duplicates of this. So I'm going into my WordPress website and I'll go into the category I want to add this widget to, give it a name. very good click add and it's been added to the end here i double click on that to edit it and our first steps are copying the html the css and the javascript so just copy paste one by one css and JavaScript. The next step, which is super important, is JS CSS includes. Now, we can include some of the files that we upload, and we can select existing files. The next step I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder for this widget. So create folder. And usually I call it the same as the name of the add-on. And this is useful for two things. The first thing is I can upload, I, first of all, I need to set it as the add-on assets path. This will assign this folder to this widget. And over here, I'm going to take uh, the image I used over here as a placeholder. And I don't want it to come from an external URL. I want it to come from the add-on itself, so I'm going to save that to my desktop and I'm going to upload this into the folder we've just created very cool and now I will be able to use it when I create my image field it will let me choose it as a default image for whoever puts the add-on to the page initially. Jumping into the HTML, I'm going to replace this image source to the image. And a couple more things I need to change is the name. And we can do also description. For description, I'm going to use a text area. Looking good. And let's replace these two in the HTML. So in description, let's paste the description. And in title, we will put the name. Looks good. I think I have all my initial parts. Yes. Let's click update to save that. And maybe last one last thing I want to do is I need to change the ID to a dynamic ID. The reason I'm going to do this is because I might, I may have more than one team member on the page, and in that case, there might, there will be conflicts. So I do need to make a dynamic ID so the JavaScript won't conflict with each other. 
So I'm replacing it also in the HTML, also in the CSS, and now we need to replace that also in the JavaScript. So it's just our main selector. And it will give each of the team member boxes a different ID. I'm jumping into pages. And let's create a new page. Team test. Edit with Elementor. And let's scroll down. Find our magic team member. And before I'm going to drag it, I'm going to create three columns. And now I can drag it inside. Perfect. Let's add one more, see that they don't conflict. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted. And that was the couple steps you need to do to create your custom uh, widget, HTML, CSS, JavaScript to dynamic Elementor widget in a couple of seconds. If you have any questions or doubts or suggestions, please comment them in the comment boxes. I'm here to hear anything you need, any special requests. If any guys have any other idea of other add-ons you want me to show how to make, and please contact me and this add-on I will be adding adding to our catalog so you will be able to download it and customize it by the way another question I had is um, people are asking me if they can take an existing widget and edit it so yes that's the idea around unlimited elements is not only elements that you have created, you can access the HTML and the CSS, but for example, if I go into this existing one, I can edit it. Not only can I edit it, but I can also duplicate and fork that uh, widget and create my own changes on my own copy. I hope that was clear, and thank you for joining, guys, and see you next time.